What's up everybody and welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be rebuilding this 2013 Ram 1500. This truck actually belongs to a friend of ours from California and he is here. He's going to help us get it rebuilt because it's on time crunch and he's got to get back. So he's going to help us out. A little bit of what's going on with it. We've got quarter damage here as you can see. We need to replace this section. We're only going to replace this section right here so that we can get a better match on our paint here. Mm -hmm. So let's go see what they're doing on the front end. What's up, Paul? Hey. What's up, Andre? What's up? This is the owner of the truck right here. So he's going to help us out. We want to get it done fast. Uh, so they're going to help me with the framework and obviously they're going to do the paint and body. So let's get started on this frame. All right guys, so we got the truck all strapped down and we've already got the chain hook to the bumper right here. We're going to do a little preliminary pull to just get this bumper separated from the core panel and see what's going on under there. So check this out guys, the preliminary pull revealed a nasty kink right here in this quarter panel. And also, I didn't, I forgot to show you guys the bracket before, but we did straighten the, the bumper bracket just by pulling this old bumper, which is why I never remove anything yet, because I always want to use the old piece as the pull point. If you look down in here, you can see that the bumper bracket is straight now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that that side bumper bracket is straight and then remove the bumper and start pulling out this point. All right, we're gonna remove this bumper and I wanted to show you guys this tool. If you never used one of these, these things are amazing. Milwaukee makes them, they're really strong and they fit into everywhere. So right here, we need to grab this thing and pull it back. The best way to do that is going to be grab it right here. All right, so we got the bumper off and we pulled this quarter out a little bit. There is a little bit of damage to this inner structure area right here. And uh, it's a little bit difficult to keep pulling by the old quarter panel. So we're going to go ahead and take off the old piece because I do have to remove this little section right here and straighten it by hand on the uh, frame with a hammer because there's just no way to pull this out. It's too mangled. So we're going to get this piece off right now and uh, start pulling on this cab uh, or on the bed right here. If you see right here, we got a kink. Yeah. I got most of them off. Uh, did you say that we're replacing this piece? Yes. Oh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish going all the way through on these. Yeah, but just go not ahead. Not on these though, right? Yeah, don't go through on all those. Okay. Beautiful, let's go see what the boys are up to in the front. How's it look, Andre? Dude, the bumper is looking good. It's nice and fresh. Tires? The guys are getting the front bumper on it and check this out guys look how amazing this thing looks with a painted front bumper versus the chrome yes sir
All right, so we got the outer skin off of the quarter. And as you can see, this inner structure is bent up a little bit. We're going to have to grab it right here, pull it out, straighten it out. So let's get some clamps on it and get it done. All right, so before we throw this old quarter panel away, we're going to take this hinge mount off right here. Uh, we did have to order this new piece right here. It will be here tomorrow, so we won't actually be able to put this on today, but we will get everything ready to weld. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this piece. So we have our hinge pivot point removed, but it is a little bit bent. So we're going to straighten it out. Check this out guys, we've got it pulled out. I think it's almost there. We do need to pull this a little bit more. Uh, we are missing one little piece. It's the inner hinge support structure. Uh, that's going to be here tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So unfortunately we cannot install our new quarter today, but we can get it cut to size. So I'm going to go ahead and get my measurements and start cutting it.
All right guys, so here we got the bedside welded in. I really like how we did it right here. There is no warping, so it's gonna be very easy to do the body work on it, which is what we're gonna focus on now. So we need to get it off the frame, grind down all these welds and put some body filler on it. All right, check this out. The guys are doing an amazing job in getting this thing in body work. It's already looking really good. How's it look, Ben? Looks really good. Everything's smoothed out, ready for some primer. Yes, sir. What do you think, Andre? Yeah, I think it's We're going to get it painted tonight? Yeah, we're going to stay up all night until it's finished. I approve this work. Joe's Customs. Don't worry about my to-do list. <laughs> what you got there, Paul? Transfer two and one primer. Good stuff. Ben, back the truck in. All right, guys, so we got it all taped up and cleaned. Everything's looking nice. Now we're going to go ahead and throw this base coat. guys we've got all the white base coat down the other thing that we have to do is this truck is a two-tone so this rear corner panel needs a little bit of silver so we're going to tape off the white and spray the silver Alright guys, we've got all the base coat down, it's nice and dry, we've tacked the panel, so now it's time to clear coat.
All right, guys, just like that, this rebuild is done. It turned out very nice. I like how it all turned out. Andre is actually inspecting it because he is actually going back to California on it today. Yeah. What do you think, bro? Dude, it looks sick. I mean, there's a reason why I've got a truck here instead of California. You guys do amazing work. Yes, sir. Appreciate it's that. Spotless. You check all the fluids and everything? I can't even tell where it was welded or whatever. It's just it's uh, better than factory. That's yeah. for sure. I love how Yuri welded that bedside because usually when you weld stuff up like that and splice it it gets very warped and you have to put like a pound of bondo on it but it turned out very nice we actually just did a skim coat of bondo and a skim coat of glaze body work looks amazing paint work looks amazing there is an imperfection in the paint from mr andre over here yes he leaned into it yeah that was uh that was my bad. <laughs> was my but bad. it is a work truck. Had know, to autograph it. He yeah. said in one year we're going to see it. It's going to be destroyed, which is kind of unappreciative of our work, but whatever. Yeah. It's good for now. It's good yeah. for drive. Thanks, man. No problem, brother. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you think of the build. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co if you want the inside scoop. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.